a single blinking cursor on a black screen of a laptop or desktop computer with Windows 10 is usually caused by a hard drive issue in most cases, even in other versions of Windows. This troubleshoot and fix is rather simple and if you know how to use a screwdriver, how to order a replacement drive and you can follow a couple of tutorials on how to create a USB installation drive, then you can easily repair your own laptop or desktop computer. Let's take it out. Hey name tags and welcome this is Ash from Hinnim My Tech and on this channel I want to help you develop a better relationship with technology so consider subscribing and click the bell icon to go from newbie to techie. Also Amazon affiliate links in the description below will help out the channel. This client's laptop, a Samsung RV520, has Windows 10 Pro and is no longer booting up. When turning on the laptop, you get an initial splash screen showing the Samsung logo and then the single blinking cursor. The fact that you are getting a splash screen and if you are able to access the BIOS or UEFI is enough to indicate that the computer is getting a successful post power on self test and it's likely either a corrupted bootloader or a failing hard drive. If you really need to repair the BCD or try to repair the hard drive, at the end of the video I will give you other options but in most cases you're looking at replacing a failing hard drive. This old laptop has a 160GB mechanical spin drive so even if that wasn't the issue you should be looking at upgrading this with an SSD anyway. To troubleshoot this the best tool to use in my opinion is a live USB Linux installation drive. Today we're using Linux Mint 19.264 bit, feel free to use any distro even a 32 bit if unsure and since this is an old laptop I'm using an MBR version rather than a GPT version so bear that in mind when creating a Linux installation drive as in this tutorial, link above and below. Turn off your laptop, remove the battery, press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds to discharge any static electricity, then plug in your charging adapter. Next plug in the Linux USB drive, reboot and press F2 or whatever key you need to press for your computer to enter BIOS or UEFI. Once you're there, go into the boot order menu, check if your existing hard drive is being detected and then change the boot order to enable the Linux USB drive as the first boot drive. Press F10 to save and exit and reboot. Once you're logged in into Linux, press start menu and type in disks, select and press enter. In our case, we can see the 160 gigabyte hard disk present with four partitions, but they are not currently mounted. The biggest partition is not currently being recognized, coming up as unknown, which tells me there could be hardware failure issues. If you are able to mount and access your folders on this drive, time to backup your personal files onto a different drive. But if it is damaged or you're not bothered, move on to the next step. Since you're already here on this Linux drive, feel free to look around and test other things like your internet connection and sound settings. This live Linux USB drive is one of the best tools you can have to troubleshoot many issues that you can't do with a Windows installation drive. Check out this video for why Linux is superior to Windows in many cases. Now turn off the computer, disconnect the charger, press and hold the power button to discharge static electricity, get a small Phillips screwdriver to remove the back cover. In this model, we only have one screw and removing the cover gives access to the hard drive. Carefully unplug it, remove any outer casing or in this case a rubber protection, plug in the new SSD which you bought. Here we are using a SanDisk 500GB at around £50, Amazon affiliate link below. Put the cover back but don't screw in just yet. Now go watch this tutorial on how to create a Windows 10 installation USB drive. Make sure you're creating an MBR version, but if it's a new disk, you might be able to create a GPT version. And just follow this very easy tutorial to install a fresh Windows 10 copy on a new drive. If your previous Windows was already digitally signed, you just need to skip a couple of product key requests and you will be in your new Windows login screen in no time. Lastly, a couple of extra things to consider. Depending on the age of your laptop, you may opt to upgrade some components like RAM or even consider a lighter operating system like Linux instead of Windows. But if you need to decide, check out this video up here. 
And if you need to repair the BCD bootloader or further troubleshoot and try and repair your hard drive, then check out this video down here with additional video links in the description below. This is Ash from Hinmai Tech asking you to subscribe if you're new here to go from newbie to techie and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, <laughs>